Hey guys, uh, welcome back to uh, another episode of Status Quo Garage. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, uh, pretty much what my videos are is, is kind of the process of uh, me going through my cars uh, as I'm making it mine, where I'm modding it and, and doing the things that I like on it. Um, these videos are usually things that I don't see online and I'm trying to help out the car community again um, so that people can DIY their own stuff. Um, and you know feel accomplished of uh, doing it so um, with that being said today's video is going to be on um, installing a OEM uh, S2000CR front lip it's it's a pain in the butt if you don't have the pre-drilled or the the ones with the dimples um, already in the back of the bumper where you can just drill and pinpoint the spots like for mine it's an AP2 but the bumper it's although it's OEM it's the ones that don't have those markings in the back so I have to measure them out and um, actually uh, mark them and, and drill them out and it's a pretty intense process I'd say um, so uh, just uh, stay tuned and we'll go through the steps and processes on how I did it so uh, welcome back to my kitchen here this is uh, the front lip that's painted um, I just got it back from the body shop uh, not too long ago and then this is my front bumper um, it's a OEM one, but it's it's been replaced. There's no VIN tags on here. Um, and so, uh, if you guys are the ones that are lucky enough to have the dimples in the back, um, like if you look back here, you'll see some markings, kind of like how I did my TL one, where there's like a little circle and an X that's very, very, very faint. Um, and another easy way to look at it without actually taking off your bumper is right here. You got some dimples, like this one right here and this one right here. That's for the OEM AP2 front lip. But if you're the ones with the CR type, you'll also notice there's two other holes, which or two other dimples like this, which mine didn't have, and I had to measure these out. Um, so I'll show you guys how to do that in a little bit as well. But um, you, you want to check that first because it's going to be a pain if you have to go through a process that I'm going through. So in the CR front lip, you're going to have eight mounting points on it, on the actual face of the bumper. And then on the bottom of the bumper, you're going to have seven uh, places where the bolts are going to uh, sit. I got this um, uh, lip from a uh, hardtop guy. Really, really cool vendor to deal with. Um, I have no affiliation with him, but I just like dealing with him just because he's really fair. And he has options of getting all the hardware, which I did here. Um, so if you buy the hardware kit, it comes with the uh, seals, uh, which I don't really care for because it's a lot thinner than the OEM stuff, which is uh, this one right here. Um, if you want one that looks like OEM, uh, since Honda doesn't sell it, they only sell this one right here. You can get the Toyota one. This one's the gray one, but it's pretty much the same. Um, the number is exactly the same, except you, instead of a B, it's a C uh, for the black ones. Um, this one's actually the OEM one that came with it. What I did was I, I actually took it off. I took off all the uh, tape on it, which is a pain in the butt. And then I bought some really, really thin foam tape to put it back on. Um, part of the hardware kit, uh, you get seven of these screws right here, uh, which is this part number here. These shorter ones are the ones that go on the bottom here um, whenever you put it onto your liner. The longer ones, are the ones that actually go on the face. So you're gonna get eight of these. Um, and then this is gonna be the part number here. Uh, it, the light's kinda in the way. You're gonna get five of these, um, which I believe should be one here, one here, uh, and then um, three in the front. But it, it just didn't make any sense because the three in the front, um, Actually, it would be a pain for you to put on the liner. Um, so I, I actually ended up just using two of those nuts and then I bought three uh, U-nuts from the dealer uh, instead because I think it'll be a lot easier. So you'll see later on um, why I did this. And then you'll get um, also from his kit is four self-tapping screws, which is this part number here. And then you'll get um, four um, speed nuts uh, which will be right here that I have installed already and 
These are also great for making a reference point of where to uh, drill. So the hardest part in um, trying to figure out where the holes is on this bumper is that you have to really make it, make sure it's aligned so that it looks good. Um, so what I did here was um, I, I just kind of had a little bit of tricks. Um, I made these uh, little templates online uh, and then cut them out on my vinyl cutter so that I know where to line them up. So whenever you see me making a reference on how high this is, um, I'm going on the reference of this line right here because the bottom is different at every hole. So um, I'm making a reference from here. If you're seeing me make a reference here, it actually goes down to the very bottom here, um, all the way to this hole, the center point. And then if I'm making a reference from here to here, I'm actually making a reference from center point here to the edge of this because it's it's the same edge on both sides. Um, and then the same here. So the first thing I did to measure these holes is that I marked the center point. So to get the center point, I used this grill here because this is the center point of the um, actual bumper. And then I marked halfway the um, half of the hole on the bottom here. So this gave me my single, uh, my, my uh, center point. The two parts right here in between, these are 250 millimeters in between. Um, and so what I did was I divide this and then I have, um, you know, 125 here to midpoint, 125 from here to midpoint. And then between these two right here, these are 235 uh, millimeters in between. And uh, the height of all these, if you look at the pictures of the CR bumper, it's actually not right in the center between this part right here. It's a little bit below. So when I measured it, it's about 20 millimeters to the center point here. So that's, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, and then I, I did verify by putting on the lip and taking it back up that these holes do line up. So I like to start in the middle just because it's, it's a lot easier to have a reference point here. These ones are the harder ones. What I ended up doing was making some U-shaped um, paper uh, or, or labels that you can stick on here from these guys right here. Uh, these are, it's a three by three uh, centimeter, so 30 by 30 um, millimeter square. So what I did was I just made a U of the 30 by 30 and then mounted the um, spoiler um, on here temporarily. Um, but the first thing you have to do is you have to drill your holes underneath, which is these guys right here. So from this divot here to here, that's about, uh, let me see, I wrote it down here. Um, that is 15 millimeters. So you want to drill uh, 15 millimeters um, from the center of this hole to the top here. And then to get to to get this to fit perfectly fine, what you want to do is you want to put your spring clip in while finding the y-axis here because this will go all the way in and then you can mark your hole. So that'll help you guide your hole to where this needs to sit because if you look at the bumpers online where these holes would be, this is actually in the center, but the CR one, it's a little bit more towards the inside of the car rather than the outside of the bumper. Um, same thing goes here. It's a little skewed inside rather than outside. Um, so what I did was I, I put a spring clip here uh, on here. So I'll measure this one 15 mil millimeters down, drill a hole. And then once I have this installed, that's when I mark this hole right here. Uh, put the uh, spring clip in, drill a pilot hole, and then drill it all the way through. Mount it on this side and the other side. Once you have the uh, lip mounted, that's when you'll sneak under here and put those in, which I'll show you in a little bit here. All right, so this is what I did. I uh, kind of temporarily put on the lip here. And uh, what I did was I went underneath here and let me turn on the light. And what I did was I put these squares in 
so that you can just get the bottom in. After I have those marked, um, I took the bumper back out, which I'll do right now. And when I screwed them in, I actually did, I just did it by hand because there's no reason to, to screw them in all the way since you're, you're gonna be taking this in and out a lot. Um, you know, like with wood people say, measure twice, cut once. This is literally measure 200 times and then drill once because you only have one shot at it unless you want it to look like crap. And then so after I had this, I measured this all the way up to three uh, centimeters or you know 30 millimeters put a piece of tape on top of it so it's a perfect square I came over here made a piece of square folded it on its uh, corners and put it here mark the center point of it and then mark the center point there and on the other two and then that way I got myself a perfect center so I, when I measured everything it actually ended up being perfect on both sides. So what you, um, since um, you don't have to measure all this again after I did all the leg work, which I'm sure I'm gonna get some people asking me things in the comments that I mentioned in the video. But um, from here, measured to the bottom here. So bottom here to the center point here, uh, that is 110 millimeters. From here, measured onto the edge right here, that is gonna be 335 millimeters. From here, measured to the bottom here, that is 195 millimeters. And then from here, measured to the edge right here, that's 160 millimeters. So whenever you're measuring, you wanna make sure it's as clean as possible. And of course, there's ridges, what you don't want to do is you don't want to press down here because then you'll get a longer length. Um, I just went over it and stretched it until I get the same number here. So um, same thing on the other side. After that, I'm just going to drill this with a step bit. So it's going to be a small pilot hole and then I'll drill it with a step bit and then we'll mount it on there. So uh, after marking all the spots, I just drilled it with a uh, 3 16 drill bit that way um, that'll uh, give me a good pilot hole and I, I don't mess it up if I'm drilling it bigger this gives me a more precise spot okay so after drilling the pilot holes um, I drilled it drilled the rest of the holes with a step bit um, and then you know went on the bottom drilled in the reason why I use a step bit is because you got a really clean hole from it it doesn't want to run or anything like that and uh, since it's plastic it's super easy um, I did this on my TL when I'm putting in the A-Spec body kit as well. Worked really, really well. That's why I decided to go this way. And uh, you can see right here, it's super clean. All right. All right, so once you have the holes drilled, I just went ahead and just put in the side ones, uh, not all the way tight. That way I can have a little bit of adjustment room. Uh, and then you wanna grab these longer ones and put them in just this part number so I finally have uh, everything tightened up what's cool about these bolts is it's cammed or it, it has a, a, a you know bigger uh, head so that it actually goes in and it tightens just right so you don't have to gauge anything so if you ask me if OEM screws are worth it I'd say yes they are quite expensive they're about a hundred bucks but it goes in right on there and that way you don't um you don't go in too far you tighten it and then this is exactly the right tightness um, so after doing all the front facing bolts with this part number here um, next thing you want to do is you want to use this part number which is the shorter ones uh, grab four of them and then you want to uh, mount this lip on this one, this one, this one, and this one. Uh, and then the last three, which is the middle here, will go onto the actual um, uh, splash shield on the bottom, which I'll show you later. All right, so coming out to the car here, 
uh, these three holes are going to be the remaining holes that's going to mount the uh, the rest of the spoiler, those clips. Um, so this is what I was talking about. Instead of using a nut, I decided to use a clip here because if you look at the OEM uh, splash guard or fender liner, they use exactly the same thing. And this has the same place for it to put it. So I bought this from the dealer so that it'll just slide right in. And it looks like it's a perfect fit for it because I can't imagine trying to hold the nut while trying to tighten those screws back in and the cool thing is this actually has a a um, protrusion here to where that part of the screw that I was talking about like the built-in spacer will fit right in here so it'll tighten 100% correct and here it is all done uh, some people like this lip some people don't but I actually really like the CR look and so uh, next step for this car is going to be the spoiler. And uh, I hope you guys uh, at least learned something from this video. If you're trying to do it yourself, uh, good luck with it. And um, please uh, like and subscribe. Thank you.